Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p and native PS2. I'm going to do some frame rate testing as well, and show you the best settings for PSI Ops American Conspiracy. So large frame buffer is what I'm using, native, uh, as you see, custom resolution, native 1440p, built in native PS2, anisotropic filtering 16. Do not turn on mip mapping at full or full or slow at all, wait full or basic, don't turn on any of them at all, it has really awful texture glitches, so leave that off, um, safest full, or full safest, now um, you have to have skip draw 3, um, I found that the community says 3 works the best and it does, I've tested out 1, 2, and what well, uh, 0, 1 and 2, awful, 4 doesn't seem to work either, um, 3 just works the best for some reason. It eliminates all these weird blurry blend glitches. This is normally the hack to turn on, but just use this. Also, it has some weird green glitch, like a plain, a weird green plain glitch. That's what people called it in the community, but um, I see what they were talking about. So, but yeah, definitely have 3 on. Uh, you could turn on MSAA, but um, it's, it's, it's a kind of demanding game, to be honest. You could have two times if you want, but if you're going to have two times, I'll show you in a few moments. We've got FXAA on. It's just to blur off the um, the edges. It's not too demanding. Uh, if you're going to use MSAA, you have to turn on MTBU. This game is quite demanding for a 30 FPS game because the game targets 30 FPS. I have this turned on. I'm going to be using zero just to make sure I don't get any um, drops in this video. So, all right, I'll just have a quick look. This is um, native PS2. This the game targets um, 512 by 448. That's the dimensions for um, PSI Ops Mankind Conspiracy on the PCSX2 on software mode. Now let's have a quick look. We're going to show you native 1440p very shortly. So as you see, this game is running slow. My frame rate counter says 40. This game targets uh, 30 frames, but if you can look closely, you can tell the game's running slower than 30 frames. So just ignore the counter for this video. Um, yeah, there's a bit of uh, weird glitches there. So yeah, this game's not like the perfect game on software mode, but na native P uh, native 1440p um, is the best. It runs perfectly fine with this game. So let's go have a look. This is native 1440p. There we go. As you see, game runs at full speed, 30 frames per second. Um, it looks a lot clearer, a lot lot clearer than native PS2. Um, so you're going to have a great um, time playing this game at 1440p or whatever you play at. It's very clean, looks very very nice. I'm just killing some guys here. Yeah, there's no frame rate drops. You saw the alpha effect just went off, the uh, explosion, no drops at all. So you could probably, might be safe to run at native um, MSAA times 2 or maybe 4 depending on your PC. Other than that, yeah, this is uh, 1440p. Let's have another look at... um. Let's have another look at four, um, 480p, or sub 480p actually. This game doesn't quite hit native 480, it's just native PS2. See look, there's a bit of glitches there on these guys. It's taking forever to reload because of the- oh, because I don't have any ammo. Oh, grip. Anyway, this is pretty much PSI Ops Mankind Conspiracy on the PCSX2. Let's have another quick look at 1440p, and that's, yeah, pretty much it. There's nothing really else to show. The game holds a good steady, uh, 30 frames at 1440p. MTVU definitely helps keep a stable um, 30 frames of this game. So if you have it turned off, you might have some hiccups in it. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.